Good morning to day 21. As I said last time, it was like five minutes for me and a couple days for you. And I, I think I want to go back to the starting area. Honestly, I probably should have done that earlier, but now that we have every kind of Pikmin, I was kind of waiting on that. I didn't want to suddenly encounter, like, poison or something and be at an impasse. So we're going to talk to Schnauz, and then we're going to go to, uh, I think, the final area, or the first area. Are those treasures? They are, aren't they? Show them to me, and I will talk about them. Unbreakable promise. How I wish that were true. A hoop topped with a stone made of the hardest substance in the universe. A perfect gift to give when making an unbreakable promise. Though I am told the stone can, and in fact, be broken. Perhaps then, it's meant as a reminder that no promise is truly unbreakable. Indeed. Indeed. <clears throat> Moving on. Memory fragment top-ish. <laughs> This is merely one part of a much larger picture. As for why this image was broken into pieces, well, I suspect it's because it needed to be safely transported. E perhaps to an art gallery, even. Once assembled, I won't be surprised to find a masterpiece. It's probably a picture of someone's, like, dog. It is a dog. This is definitely a picture of, like, a, a Shiba Inu or something. Uh, what else is there? Is that it? Oh! The dark postules. Stare at the deep, dark orbs of this fruit, and you, too, might fall into a hypnotic trance. But not to worry. The, minute, the minute you take a bite, you'll be snapped from your reverie by a powerful blast of sweet juice. What a journey it takes you on. You may never want to return. Squeeze, squeeze. Had enough? No? Well, let's squeeze some more. A ruthless, savage heart beats inside this machine. Indeed, no giant fruit can retain its juice in the face of this device's relentless ringing. But if it's the very last drop you seek, then the merciless extractor is for you. Face wrinkler. The hot squeezing excitement one feels upon falling in love for the first time is not so different from the jaw-clenching salivation that occurs when one takes their first taste of this fruit. I dare say both experiences are thrilling, if just a touch painful. The pocked airhead. Children love this fruit for its adorable shape. See how it looks for all the world like a jolly orange snowman. But the pocked airhead is more than just our acute character. Its taste is sweet, and its strange, lumpy skin is easy to peel. There's just so much to love about this citrus snowman. Gifting vase. It's hard to see a family separated, even if they are just dolls. Dolls are not. They clearly want to be together. This doll torso looks like it is in the shape of a vase. Perhaps it's a good place to put gifts to help the wayward dolls get by until they're reunited. And they will be reunited. Fist Forced Combo Bot. Look at this robot arm. It's ready to seize victory in its steely fist. It fires at its enemies, not out of anger, but out of necessity. It does what must be done and never flinches from that duty. Yes, that is what Valor looks like. And it is a good look indeed. If the right arm is about Valor and victory, then the left arm is about love and peace. You could say that while one hand throws the punch, the other reaches out for a handshake. That is a very weird way to greet people, but I can only assume in some part of this universe, it is custom. The symmetry is important. It keeps the whole body, nay, the whole universe, in balance. Also, wouldn't it be eight symmetry because they don't match? Anyway. Life controller. This cross-shaped structure on the device is not only satisfying to press up, down, and side to side, but clearly moves something. Strange to say, I almost feel as though it's controlling me. But who would be controlling me? I must know who it is. Shooting Star Shield. To be a great warrior, one must be able to withstand not just one attack, but attack after attack. This small but powerful shield is designed to protect its owner from an onslaught of blows that land like a shower of shooting stars. Endurance is strength. Priceless Bird. This golden paper sculpture is modeled after a bird known to invite good fortune. Laden with luck, it's sure to make, as many, make many a wish come true. And as the desires held within this universe are endless, this bird may spread happiness for millennia to come. Despite the fact that it is made of paper, 
and somehow has lasted, well, probably like five minutes, considering humanity is not dead in this game for some reason. Divine Balloon. Made from paper so impossibly thin that it appears to be the handiwork of a higher being. Be careful not to lose sight of this balloon. Despite its size, it can float along the faintest breeze. Just one gust of wind might carry it above the clouds beyond your grasp. Wisdom Emblem. I feel certain the shape seen here represents wisdom. Just look at its arching symmetry. It is elegant, but not ostentatious. Complex, but not overly ornate. It brings to mind scholars with noses and books, and scientists working towards conclusions. What conclusions, you may ask? I have no idea. I'm, a I'm actually asking. Go with the flow totem. With its many sides, how is this totem not just a sphere? Give it a roll, and it seems like it might never stop. But when it does, well, there are so many numbers it can land on. One, two, three, four. Two hours later. 17, 18, 19, or 20. Does it really matter which one, though? Best to just go with the flow. Can we read this? Oh, we got- Oh, we've gotten multiple, that's why. I was like, I, we just got this, but no, we've, we've gotten multiple. Do drop by any time you'd like to peruse the treasure catalog. I will just be here. Staring... At the moon above the horizon. She's out there. Somewhere. Let's go to the starting area. Yeah, I'm confident. I know I've been jumping around a lot in this game, and honestly, I can't exactly say why. It just... Something about... I don't know. I, I have no idea. I think probably it has to do with trying to uh, to get as many new things as possible. We get purple Pikmin, we move on. We get white Pikmin, we move on. And just recently we got flying Pikmin. So I feel like I can beat this area. But it's important that I do beat this area. Uh, I, I don't want to spend two days here. We have 84% completion and it would be kind of ridiculous if I wasn't able to do it in that, that amount of- in one day. Uh, so I need to make sure that I get this done. Um, try to ensure that I have everyone I really could. I think I can tackle most obstacles with that. I know already of one... Not that. Disband. And I, well, Jeff, is gonna go over to there. I hope I can carry it, or else I might restart. I don't know. Uh, switch. And let's grab them. Now where? There's something over there. There's stuff. That's a cave. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot we need to get. But nothing this way. Maybe there isn't that much. Okay. I, I can get this done. Yeah, I forgot how small this area actually is. Yeah, cool. We can just walk over here and it might be a pretty easy day. Outside of the fact that there might be something buried that I don't know about. Okay, switch. Uh, I don't want to do that. There might be enemies, so I'm not going to autopilot there. Okay, uh, you guys can work on that. I wish I could swarm you, but I can't with Ochi. That's kind of frustrating. Okay, you guys, you guys get that. And then we're going to switch and pray. We're going to pray. They're, oh, boy. Can they knock that down? Wait a minute. Was that a... Oh my word. Oh my word. That's not a flying Pikmin thing. I just need to swarm that with a... Oh. Okay, I just need to charge that with Ochi. Okay. Uh, that makes things much simpler. Okay, well, we'll take care of this. Ochi's needed a lot today. I saw that too. I saw that too and didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah, do that. Do that. Also, in the trailer... No, the watch wasn't over there. I wish we could get on top of the bench. That'd be kind of neat. Uh, yeah, I guess we just go over here and we we're supposed to charge this. I could have gotten this area done. Well, I mean, this game's blind, and this is what happens when you learn. That poor watch. I have a watch identical to that. I used to... I used to collect pocket watches, like legitimate pocket watches. The oldest one I have uh, is from 1902. 
And I used to carry them too, but it's hard to carry watches. I actually... Could I have jumped up there? I feel like I could have. It's hard for me to carry pocket watches because I actually... Ugh. Do I want to admit this? I, I still carry an iPod, like an iPod Touch. Where am I going? This way... This way. I still carry an iPod Touch. There's just... Um, I use it for D&D, &D, and there's something about the, the feature of old iTunes. And I don't actually know if this is something that other, um... That other, like, music players have. But the ability to right-click on a song and see what playlist that song is in is very good. And I, not a lot of players have that. And so I, I still use an iPod. I still use old iTunes. It's kind of, it's kind of whack. I, I know I'm weird, but it means I'm carrying two devices. I'm carrying two devices and, um... Is this a Sparklium goal? Why am I getting... Oh, it's just a Sparklium goal. Hey, this time I anticipated it. I knew why it was happening. I wasn't surprised again. Amazing. Look at all this money. And yet... The SS Cafeteria's energy tank still hasn't reached its maximum capacity. <laughs> Intriguing! The Sparklium doesn't seem to possess any weight or volume! You know what that means? No matter how much energy we collect, our tank should be able to handle it. You've done a great job collecting treasure so far. No reason to stop now. I wonder if that gives us a new area. That would be good for me knowing how complete the game is. Okay, you guys take that back. Please take it back faster. One thing that's great about this game, compared to, I mean, Pikmin 2, really, is... Okay, that's everything, right? That's everything? Oh, You know what? Ochi, I forgot. I can command you. Dismount. Command. Uh, Treasure. Is there any other treasure? I want to do it now before I go into the cave. Don't go. Okay. All right. That's that's that. That must be the the last ugh, the last treasure in the area. Sure. Let's go in. Hectic Hollows. Weird thumbnail. Someone or something built a a rough wall inside the cave. The Pikmin and I were unable to scramble up, but Moss was unable to were able to scramble up, but Moss was unable to climb up the wall. I'll have to leave her behind for now and hope we can find a way or place to meet up. Oh, it's gonna be a charming little easy cave. I'm fine with that. Sure, let's go. Doo -doo. Hectic Hollows, sub level one. I like the vibe of this cave. I like it already. It reminds me of some Pikmin one cave or Pikmin two caves. Ooh, and we have some. Pik more Ice Pikmin. This is where we could have gotten Ice Pikmin, it looks like. Nice. You can die. You can die. Uh, you guys can deal with that. Ochi! Nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's deal with this first. And then... Ten. Only ten? Wow. Yeah, cool. It's like a little, it's a little beginner cave. I like it. There, There's something to be said for those early caves that you always remember, like the Hole of Beasts, right? It just has that vibe in it. You know, like the back of your hands, because you, back of your hand, because you've done it like 50 times. Maybe you farmed in it for a couple of uh, repetitions, like I did in Pikmin. I think I did it in Pikmin 2. I farmed for purples, and it just, you know every layout it can possibly have. You've seen them all, and it's just, it just, your game, it's just your game, you're super familiar with it. Okay, let's climb up here, we're not gonna be able to take Ochi with us. This is almost, this is a tutorial cave. And we're gonna switch to that, freeze him, and Moidoi. Uh, you guys, take that on. Get some plastic, we're kinda low. And we're supposed to reunite with Ochi, so die. 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 Fine. Uh, cool. 
And then we have some plastic over here. It'll just, it's just a place for us to stock up on resources. They expect this to be a beginning cave. Nice. This will finish that set. The, the like, Russian doll set. We'll, we'll complete that. Um, we'll get Ochi. Let's see. Command. Uh, come here. I also need to remember that I have the idle Pikmin thing. I, I forgot that I had that until just now. It's, like, up on the D-pad. This is what happens when I don't record that often. Oopsie. That is the wrong button. Yeah, this is what happens when I don't record that often. And I do these giant big recording sessions because I just want to keep playing the game. But then I have these giant gaps where I don't play the game. Bite that. Bite that ice. Chew on ice. Eat ice. Lick it. There are ice Pikmin inside. That makes sense. Is that how they reproduce? Huh. Well, drink nectar, please. Go. Okay. Uh, I guess we should swarm them on this. Just get that done. And then... Sub-level clear. Neat. You know what I think is kind of weird in this game? Is it feels like there are a lot, of, a lot more caves that don't have bosses. Pikmin 2, it felt like almost every cave had a boss, unless it was uh, um, basically the emergence cave. Here? A lot of them don't have a climax. Can I skip this? No. I can! Haha. -ha. Why would I want to? But I did. Oh, whoa. Uh, the final floor. Okay. This looks like a boss room. That one wiggled. Do you guys see the wiggle? The left pot wiggle. It's wiggling. It's wiggling. Ochi, break that. You know, I haven't even tested. Can Rock Pikmin break these? I mean, it stands to reason, right? I've just, I just haven't tried it. There are a lot of things that I feel like I haven't tried. For example, <laughs> swarm or um, making Ochi run into the wall and free the, the treasures because there were two. Okay, that. I don't like that. That's wiggling. So, let's tackle that guy first. I always forget what they're called. From above. Insta-pop him, apparently. And that's that. But then... Oh, there are multiple ones wiggling. Uh-oh. Oh. It's just that. Okay, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. We're, we're okay. We're okay. And we're gonna have to do a little bit of platforming. Can I just do this? Yes, I can. I guess I, I think I actually had to do that because this, that's too far away. So that's a lot of, wait for it. I switched for a reason I just threw too early. Red Pikmin should be able to deal with that a little bit easier because that has a lot of HP. And who is this? We were meant to find them very early. It would have been hilarious if this was the captain, or if this was the pilot, but we already found them. Frise, a dedicated composer traveling with a famous opera singer and TV crew, hoping to find inspiration for an upcoming project. A musician. Looks like he was riding along with the TV cruise ship. Maybe he knows the TV reporter. Hmm. I do not want to see the paparazzi. Jump! And then... Is that a gavel? Oh, wait, no, that's one of those, like, um... It's like a... What on earth? There we go. There we go. That's how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to lock up. There we go. It's like a, one of those fidget items where they have, like, the ball. It doesn't have the ball. Maybe we'll... Oh, we got the ball! The ball was the red ball! That makes sense! I just am stupid. I do, in fact, have the stupid. Wow, is this just a super short day? Huh. No boss. Proving my point, and that's... That's it. Okay, we have nothing else to do. Right? It's gonna flash. It's gonna flash. Yeah, it is. That's it. Back to the surface. Frise! 
Pup drive up. Got a little bit of sparklium. We finished a series, which is sad. Obviously no Pikmin lost. How really could we? <laughs> there are dwarf bulborbs in here. Oh no, scary. We got a, a lot of ice Pikmin. That's... That is non-trivial. Eh, fine. Okay. There is still treasure. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So now... So I could do this one of two ways. I could... Could... Use Ochi's smell ability. Or I could make this a little bit more fun and try to find it on my own. Let's make sure it's not obvious on the map. It is not. 99% so there's one thing. A single thing that is yet to be found. And I say I say we do a little di bit of digging. In fact uh, Ochi please Okay, you guys get that. Take you Go back to base. I'm going to swap them out for yellows because they can dig. And maybe whites just for legacy's sake. And we're going to go on a little bit of a treasure hunt. This is That was something I saw earlier. I kind of want to go on top of that bench. And we'll, at a certain point, then I'll, I will give up and, and Ochi will sniff it out. But I have a feeling that I, I have some ideas. I have some ideas of where this could be. This is the first one. Okay, he can't, he can't get on there. That's sad. That looks like it. Okay, I can't get on there. Uh, we'll get. We'll go on that. We'll dig that up. And while that happens, dig, switch, and we're gonna put everybody away. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I'm gonna take out. Yeah, I'll take out. I'll take out some blues. What was this? Just plastic. Okay. Now what? Um, it could be over there. Let's let's see. It'd be devious if it was. Oh, I can't go over there. It'd be devious if it was under, like, buried underwater. I don't think they'd do that, but they could do that. Okay, my next idea was going on that log. Because if I jump up here... Uh, the log doesn't actually lead to anything, so that's not it. I've already explored over there. Maybe I... I'm gonna go up here. I. This was one of the areas that I really didn't get to see that much. That's not what I want. Um, I guess I should be multitasking. So we're gonna send... Ochi over there. Switch over to Jeff. Hmm. Where could this be? Like, it is 100% something that's buried. Or breakable. I guess it could be inside something. Go over there. Switch. I already dug that up. Hmm. Have I dug that up? I don't think I have. That's in a good spot. I don't think I've ever done anything with that. Is this it? It makes sense. It's in a very, very special location. No, that's not it. Huh. I'm running out of Pikmin. Is it here? I'm pretty sure I got something on here already. I'm pretty sure there was an... Yeah, there was something over here. So that's... It's not that. Though it would make perfect sense for it to be buried in a garden. Whoops. Is it here? No. I probably can't run on this. No, I can't run on that. Whoa! Here it is. Found it! Like, I kind of cheated. A little bit. There's a little bit of cheating. Just a, t uh, just a teensy little, little cheat. But I found it. I found it without the sniff mechanic. Sweet! I didn't take out white Pikmin. Uh, let's... You know what? Jeff, you go here. Because this is our last day. 
this is our last day in this area. Like, we can't just get it and go. We got to end it. Probably my actually my favorite area, my favorite part of this area was way up high, way up here. And besides, it's gonna be a good place for us to view the sunset. Switch. You're gonna get that, and we're gonna we're gonna just take our our time. We're gonna look around, see what this area might have to offer. There's a gate over there I didn't notice before. So this is this entire adventure is at and around the same house, and it. I guess it's a beach house if the if the beach is to be believed as part of the same area. Next time I go to the Serene Shores, I'll have to look because it, that's the only thing that doesn't quite isn't quite congruent. But this entire area appears to be the same place. Like that is the house. I always love when they do that kind of continuity, and this is the first explored 100% of the area. There's so many little little world building details here. Which there were in Pikmin 2 and uh, older games, you just couldn't see them. Like, you couldn't get the the camera where you wanted. But in Pikmin 2, there were power lines above. You just could never see them. And in this game, I really wish there was a way for me to go into first person. It's, it's kind of sad. Is there not a way? Huh. That's really sad. I can't go first person. And in this game, of course, they're... I wonder how they render these, because I don't think they're stagnant objects. Actually, real quick. Uh, dismount. Switch. Ochi, I want you to go... Yeah, that's pretty high up. Go over there. I want to see if the perspective is different. If it is, then that means those are 3D models, or I guess they could be sprites that are layered. In fact, that's probably what they are. But it'd be neat if they were models. Like, I don't think our perspective is changing on the... Um, or is it? Is it changing? I think it's changing. Hold up. That's different. Yeah, because look, if I switch over to Jeff... Yeah, it actually is different. Wow. Uh, can I go any further to the left? I want to see if that bay window on the side, on the right side of the house, gets, like, thinner as I move to the left. If it does, then I think that is actually about as good as it's going to get. I think. Switch. It is! Wow! So that's a 3D model, or is some some sort of trickery. I wish I could turn could have turned that faucet on. That's really cool. You know, in Pikmin in Pikmin 2, I, I did this. Uh, I would I would just wander around and appreciate the scenery, and this is I could almost jump that. Wow. Oh yeah. And to a certain extent, like this this is the first time I'm getting to touch. One of my favorite series in my life. One that I, I attribute with... I mean, this is like my foundational game, right? And so, of course, I'm going to explore it. And even though this day was very short, this is the first area... I believe this is the first area we're finishing. It might, it might be the second. I, I forget if we've, we've finished one be, the, the second area or not. And so this is kind of a chance for me to relive my childhood a little bit and just see what's around. I still find it weird that you can stealth in Pikmin, but... In Pikmin 2, how you discover plants is you had to bump into them. So I still have that habit of just being like, oh, there's a plant, bump, walk away. <laughs> it's funny the habits we develop as we... we... I mean, really just in life. Uh, one habit I, I notice a lot of people have is they'll get pickups in video games regardless of whether or not they need them. Like, they're playing... This is my example. Um, my dad, watching him play Zelda 1, 
I have no idea where they are. Where, where are they? One sec. Where are they? Oh, they're over there. Okay. Uh, Ochi. Please intercept. My dad playing Zelda 1, because I, I really love watching people play video games. A uh, big shocker that I that Let's Playing really appeals to me. Uh, I would always watch him play Zelda 1, and... Why are there 22 now? I guess they're all coming here. Which I actually don't want. That's fine. I'll, I'll send Ochi over to the top, because I want to get a view of that sunset. Okay. Grab them. Oh, I can use it here. That's, that's good. I'm going to keep updating it. And then eventually we'll have all of our Pikmin. Um, and one thing I always noticed about him is that whenever he had full health, he wouldn't... He wouldn't um, pick up any hearts. And I always thought that was weird. Like, it's correct. Oh, boy. Am I going to kill Pikmin? Like, at the end of time? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Should be able to get the sunset. Although it looks like it's that direction. Man. First area done. Took me long enough, right? This was a great starting area. Now that we've beaten it, I wonder if there was ever a place for the ice onion to be. It makes sense that it would be, would have been here. Now we got the blue onion here. Uh, but now with us having being so far into the game, I'm starting to doubt if there are onion types for the other what six Pikmin types that we we have but can't grow. Which leaves just the main three. Odd. Frise. Aspiration Ritual Ball. Another series complete. Nice. We're well on our way to 100%ing the game. That's another series complete. I, I was wondering if there was. And again, it, it only makes sense considering, you know, um... I could have gotten the, those two items, two treasures from the very get-go. Oh, three. Ooh, yikes. We're so, we're really knocking this game out. Not ready for it to end, but there are going to be mission modes afterwards, right? Yeah, there there will be mission modes, and we got we did get a a milestone for Sparklium, so maybe we get another area. That'd be cool. I should probably, you know, save it for later, considering we have two ongoing areas, one of which kind of trounced me, and maybe we start doing that. Maybe we, st yeah, I should probably start doing that, because it kind of builds up like a narrative as we start moving towards the end of the game, we're actually staying in the final areas. So, I think I'll start to squeeze this game out like toothpaste and move towards the end. So, I think next time we'll go back to the Serene Shores and finish that. We got our taste of what I think is the final area, but now it's time for us to, you know, to move towards that instead of just bouncing everywhere. It wouldn't make sense if we were right up to the final boss and I still had the equivalent of the perplexing pool we've left to complete. So, I think now that we're getting down to the brass tacks, I need to actually melt brass. That, <laughs> that, that uh, idiom kind of, that's not how it's supposed to be used. I kind of lost you there. Sorry about that. I'd like to build up a large stock of medicine, so get back out there and explore tonight, new blood. Hold on now, creatures are more active at night. We certainly don't want our Jeff to sh suffer any injuries. Ah, oh, don't you fret. What I am here for, if not to heal those who put themselves- What am I here for, if not to heal those who put themselves needlessly at risk? I suppose he has a point. Just, please be careful, Jeffrey. Don't damage the goods. 
tomorrow, we're going to go back to the Serene Shores. I don't think we're going to beat it in one day, but we might. I won't rule it out as a possibility. I'll say that. See you guys in the morning. <laughs>